the kitchen. Oh, hold on, Cece. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, oh, no. No. Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. Oh, Look at the cocks re-breaking. Uh, what happened to that horse? The cocks are... Cox juice is flowing today, boys. All right, they're loading in the gate for the 2022 Peter Pan Stakes. Magic, Aaron, and Jared here to watch this local prep for the Belmont Stakes. And gentlemen, uh, we the people set sail. Where are we going with this real quick, Aaron? Yeah, you know, I, I put Golden Glider on top. I'm going to take a shot at 9-2. to two. Coming out of that bluegrass, you know, a better race than anybody else is coming out of. Jared? Crater's brother, the six Western River, the other Brissette horse. I'd like that price at 7-1, to one. I think. Better value there, the Brissette runners. I like, uh, I'm going to go with We the People. It's a little chalky, but Flavian Pratt, uh, the horse is bred to like the kind of good sealed track that we got going here. He's going right to the front there, the yep. four horse. Uh, electability is going to try and go with him. I didn't see what happened to set sail. Did he kind of miss the break a little bit? I think he broke just a little bit slow. I'd have to watch it again. I was watching kind of some of those horses in the middle there and, and kind of missed it. But we, listen, We the People, terrible trip, Arkansas Derby. This is the trip he wants here uh, for this one. And you're seeing some kickback there hitting the set sail, uh, a horse that went gate to wire from the rail at Santa Neva for his debut. But, uh, yeah, not uh, not looking too great right now getting that kickback. Right now he's frozen in place. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, here, I'll pull up another one here as your screen. Yeah, is... we the people, there we go. It's the, there we we go. the people, okay. I'll fix it in post. We the people still <laughs> leading as they go into the uh, end of the far turn here. Uh, Jared, your boy, is, uh, he's back there a little bit, but it seems like he's going to make a wide move here in the turn. Yeah, he didn't He didn't break well either. And you could tell Luis I is just as soon as they, that happened, he just took the horse back and tried to get position. So, Made a little bit of move on the on the uh, backside there. We'll see if the horse has anything left um, to get in position. That track is getting worse and worse, seems like, right now. So we'll see if – the four has no excuses, though. I can tell yeah. you that much. No. Yeah, if he's any good at all, he's going to gallop home here, and we're going to find just, out if he's he He's just starting to pull away there, it looks like. Yeah. Putting some distance on him as he hits the Six is pole. making a move. We'll see if he can sustain it. He's, uh, he's wide, but he's – Gonna be here second or third here at the top of the stretch. Up, oh, he's gonna flatten that out. That is a nice looking effort from We the People there, so Aaron. This Look at him is, extend. This is what we thought we'd see in the Arkansas Derby. Completely no show. Boy, is he back. Whoa. Uh That's Golden a big Glider's gonna sneak up the rail for second, it looks like. Let's see. We the people, a country mile. Ooh. Five. Ooh, five, two, six, all kind of close there. Um yep. But it doesn't really matter past the four. That was, no. uh, that was, you know, that was, like you said, that was what you hoped to see. And, you know, Pratt jumping back aboard there after that terrible Arkansas Derby effort, kind of, you wondered if this horse, you know, was going to be definitely, you knew he was going to be better than the Arkansas Derby. He couldn't have been worse. But, uh, yeah, Pratt back aboard, that was a good sign. And I don't, I mean, Belmont, I guess, right? <laughs> I think you'd have to be crazy not to put him in it after this. Uh, I mean, I, we kind of joked before we got on air. It's like, I don't think we're getting a Belmont runner. But when one goes over the track and just absolutely dominates like this, he's got the pedigree to run a, a mile and a half at Belmont. He, that running style is how you win a Belmont. Get out in front and just put him to sleep. Uh, yeah, he should definitely be in it. Th this was really impressive. I was not expecting to see that strong of an effort from any of these horses. That looked like a serious racehorse. And like I said, that's what we thought we were going to see in Hot Springs. That's why I was really high on him. That's why I claimed him in the Fantasy League. And I looked like an idiot in Hot Springs. But don't today. That was really strong. Well, part of the issue, too, of the Arkansas Derby is a complete scratch out because he drew the parking lot. Like, it, he had no shot from that draw. We said that going into the Derby. Like, man, I wish he had a better draw. We'd love to play him harder than the Arkansas Derby. But um, it, it, no issue here with the post. I mean, he wasn't on the screen in the Arkansas Derby. That's the thing. If he finishes fourth, you're like, damn, he just had a wide trip. He didn't even try. He quit halfway into the race. So he could draw the parking lot of the rail. He quit that day. So one thing that I've noticed is different. The three races now, and, and uh, three of his four starts, wins, very impressive. I think this will be the biggest margin he's had yet. Um, they all came when he was forwardly placed early. In the Arkansas Derby, he didn't get that. So I think that's a very clear thing. The Belmont shouldn't be an issue because of how wide and long the track is, going a mile and a half. He should be able to get good position. But he is a horse that I think moving forward down the line, when he gets into bigger fields, if, if he doesn't get that forward position, he could be a little bit hampered. But when he... <laughs> Broke cleanly like that out of the gate. It almost looked like it was over from there. Yeah, I think the biggest thing for him is like, you know, like he did quit in the Arsenal Derby. And why did he quit? Well, 
he didn't get the lead. He didn't get close to the lead. And then from there, he definitely seems like if you, those first two races, he, while he wasn't on the lead uh, in his debut, he was close. You know, he was right there. And, he, and, and he had easy fractions in those races as well, like he got today. You know, that was not tested. It was very easy. Kind of the Arkansas Derby, they were moving. You know, they went pretty quick early in that race in the Arkansas Derby. And I think it was just a lot, a lot too soon, a lot too much for him. So that's a that's a thing, but to his to his benefit, the Belmont isn't a fast race. You know, it's not a race you usually see a, a you know a sub forty seven or something. Or you know, so he should be able to cruise out there. And if there's not much speed in the race, I would expect him to be. Uh, you know, he seems like when he's on the lead, he's gonna get or close to it. He he gives you a, a, a solid effort. That was a solid effort. He's he's one that we got told right before he's getting ready to debut hey they really like him and we thought well how much they really like him it's a wind star horse with Brissett. usually they send their their ones they really like to other trainers that's not a knock of Brissett. that's just the fact Mm -hmm. other than that one race he's he's looked the part in these other races i think that's now the first two graded stakes wins of uh, rudy Brissett's career have come this year here's the start i just want to go back to this because uh, the one I wish we had the head on, but I want to watch the one horse set sail to see what happens at the break. Yeah, you're right. He was just a little bit of a step slow, kind of stuttered a bit out of the gate, and yeah, not a good not a good break for him, and he lost all shot there. Uh, Any uh, electability, the two horse, he kind of faded off pretty badly too. A Chad Brown horse that was forwardly placed at Aqueduct, and I think was second to last across the wire. Or no, I'm sorry, he was close. Set sail, I think, was the one that faded. What did you think about electability though, Aaron? Uh, he was the only one that really had any kind of a shot because of how the trip that the favorite got, right? So, like, at least the two was within range. You know, Jared Six Horse kind of made a move, but at, at that point, it, it wasn't going to happen. You're moving into a horse that's fresh and, and has a huge advantage over you. The two tracks here, if he's good enough, at least he could kind of cut into the margin. Maybe not beat him, but cut into it, and he, he just kind of looked like an average horse. Um, you know, the two, the five, the six, throw him in a – you know, blender, shake them up, put them. I mean, they're the same type of horse. They're not, they're what we thought all the horses were in this race, right? Were we the <laughs> yeah, said, I'm pretty good. Brissett mentioned before the race that when it came to the sixth, um, Western River, like this was, I mean, yeah, he, it, this was a, a, a test and really he didn't need to win in order to, to, you know, as long as he ran well, um, they would plan on the Belmont stakes. So I would be, I, I would guess that you're going to see both of his horses that ran today in the Belmont Western river. And of course we, the people just because they, you know, I don't think based off of the fractions and based of how they ran, you know, Western river did about as good as he could do. And like you say, past the winner, I mean, they're all kind of the same. And the six didn't quit, and this is his first time facing winners, right? He just broke or uh, just broke his yeah. maiden at Oakland last start or two starts ago. So, dude, uh, I I thought he was gonna get second start. the whole way, and then it's like he just kind of hung. I mean, I think he got four. Uh, yeah. So yeah. he just kind of hung down the stretch there late. I would keep an eye on him. Ungraded stakes, maybe they go to allowance. He's gonna be one that you want to bet back because he did, like I said, he did run poorly, and he made a nice move on that turn. He just kind of hit the wall a little bit. Well, we all think that uh, we the people move on to the Belmont Stakes. At least makes him a contender. We'll see who he's going to face there. But we've got one more race left at Belmont Stakes. If you missed our reaction to the Man of War Stakes and that big upset, it's already available at RacingDudes.com on youtube.com slash racing dudes check that out the bogey stakes is next with rugier we want to see if she can get her first win for new trainer chad brown hit like if you like the video subscribe to our youtube channel we'll see you at the track